I'm Mike Ruth from Alston Race Cars. Been involved with uh, law enforcement vehicles for a long time, and I gotta tell you, this is one of the coolest ones I've ever seen. It's uh, put out by Chevrolet, it's a Chevrolet Caprice for 2012. It has a six liter motor in it, six speed automatic transmission, 291 rear gear. This thing is an awesome powerhouse. Right, we're here today with Sergeant Dave Jensen of the Antioch Police Department. Dave was instrumental in uh, ordering this car, purchasing all the special equipment on it. We know a lot about the, the engine and transmission, but Dave's going to tell us a little bit more about some of the extra things that he had ordered on this vehicle. Okay, thanks Mike. Thanks for having us on TV. Um, this car here, the, the Caprice, is the, we're the first uh, village in the United States to have a fleet of six um, put out by General Motors and outfitted by Kerr Industries. We're pretty proud to have them. Um, the officers driving them now, they've been on the road for about uh, six weeks and the officers can't speak highly enough about them. These, these vehicles are made in Australia. Uh, General Motors has upfitted these vehicles for police purposes only. They're only available for law enforcement purposes. Um, we went the extra mile and upfitted these vehicles with uh, upwards of $14,000 worth of equipment. Uh, we've installed plastic seats in the, in the rears, we've installed cages, we've installed um, light bars. Uh, when the guys are out on the street and they stop a car, they know that we're behind them. Carry our shotguns inside. The consoles have been specially made um, for our department. We have cameras, the, the, the most high technological camera system you can have that uploads our video um, when they get here to the station. This GM specially made the seats for officers so the, the, the guys uh, and gals handcuffs and guns don't interfere with their back. Um, pretty much every bell and whistle that you could want as an officer in a car, this car has. And we're pretty uh, excited about it and pretty happy that um, the village of Antioch was able to allow us to do this. Um, this is a long-term commitment. Um, we've got these, we're going to have these cars for a long time. We've incorporated a maintenance package with them, um, with our friends at uh, Raymond Chevrolet. So basically, cover to cover for the next four years, they're maintained by uh, General Motors and, Ma and Raymond Chevrolet. The, um, all the aftermarket equipment is upfitted from Kerr Industries, which is a company subcontracted by uh, General Motors. Um, any problem I have with this car from, from the day I get it um, until for four years from now, I just take it over to Raymond Chevrolet and the car is fixed. Oil changes, brakes, a full maintenance package, um, pretty much a no-brainer for us here at the police department. It allows us to just do police work. Every time the car turns 3,000 miles, I call someone from Raymond, they come and get it, we're done. Some of the special features on this car is the, the battery is relocated to the trunk has tons of performance. You look at the tires, I mean, there are 50 series tires that are 18 inches tall. This thing's like a go-kart going around corners. These cars actually started out as a G8 uh, Pontiac. They stretched the wheelbase 14 inches. It now has a 118 inch wheelbase. It uses the LS2 engine, six liter. It's 350 horsepower. It makes 385 foot-pounds of torque. 291 limited slip differential, so with that six-speed automatic transmission, the thing accelerates faster than any police car that's ever been built, including the 440 cars of the back in the day. It'll go 155 miles an hour top end, and that's in stock trim. I mean, you can imagine if you put a chip in this car, maybe a Pro Charger, you got a rocket ship on your hands.